What is up guys, it is Barry Michael Doyle here providing you with part 17 of our React Native Redux application that we've been spending forever building. But we're almost done. Uh, this is a finished application, so don't worry, we haven't implemented that bottom banner ad yet. We will implement that in the next video. In this video, however, we're going to be implementing the Facebook interstitial ad. And that is the ad which appears when we click on this, our modal opens, and then when we close it, an ad should pop up. There we go, that pops up and then it is counted as an impression. The person can either say yes or no. If they wanna go for it, I'm gonna say no. And the ad closes. Now, the cool thing is what I've done here is I've implemented, when we open this again and we close it, the interstitial ad doesn't suddenly appear because we don't wanna bug our users too much. Let's say they wanna quickly change something and see what's that and they open and close. We don't wanna show them repeated interstitial ads all the time. So I've put a little buffer in there to make it only appear every two minutes. So I'll show you how to do all that as we proceed with this video. Anyway, let's head into our code. Right, so here we are in our app.js file, the basically the root file of this whole project. And we saved our interstitial ad ID over here and our banner ad ID over here. So as I said, in this video, we're doing the interstitial ad ID. So I've copied this and what we need to do is we need to implement this in the modal actions that we've placed over here. So this is gonna deal with the close chords modal action here. So at the moment it only returns this and I, I don't wanna just return stuff. So I'm gonna remove these little brackets and then down in here, I'm gonna say return and then stick this all in there. It's just a bunch of reformatting really. Uh, because this isn't that long, I'm just gonna put it on one line. Um, I put it on multiple lines up here because it's just returning only that so you can see what it's only returning. But here in this case, we're just returning that and we have to deal with a whole bunch of the other stuff. That's just there because it wants that it to be formatted like this. But because we're going to add some stuff in here, we aren't too worried about that just yet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use Facebook ads from Expo. So we import that from Expo. We've already got Expo in our project because that's just the default expert project has that so we don't have to npm install anything unless you're doing this not on expo then you do have to npm install but make sure you import facebook ads from expo right so then we head back down here and we need to implement facebook ads and what we're trying to do is create the interstitial ad so we have to use interstitial ad manager dot show ad so this is just it will show the ad and you say that oh, sorry i copied that i need to go copy this over here the interstitial ad id it will show this ad of the id that we have now this can also take a dot then and a dot catch and if you wanted to you could use um await and async functions and that stuff but i'll do that in a different video my upcoming videos will handle that. Let's just keep it simple now because I don't want to freak you out with all this other stuff. So I'm just going to put these on multiple new lines. So that then I just want to put in a console log. It doesn't have to do anything. Uh, you can say a dot then, but I'm just going to say when it shows, I want to put a little console log saying interstitial add shown. So that's just, we know it's been shown. And then for catch, if there is an error, then we'll take the error and we'll also console log interstitial add error. And this is mainly just to help you out if there's some debugging. So it says, oh, let me spell that out. It will give this sort of text, the, the catch log here, it will give you the text interstitial add error and then it will add the error on there as the other parameter. So that should be fine. Now let's go ahead into our expert application and just test if this actually works. Right guys, so here we are. I've uh, skipped the process of getting this all set up and going. What we expect to happen is that when we click the view transposed chords button, this will open up and then when we close it, an interstitial ad will show. Now that was me testing it earlier, but basically, is the best way to learn oh, there we go. It's going crazy. My phone is freaking out. I turned my volume down. Uh, yeah, this is a oh, pretty, uh, suitable ad for our application actually learning guitar and bass and ukulele when our app is about chords and stuff so this interstitial ad pops up which is really cool and uh, that interstitial ad shown there is you could see that popped up before the ad because it takes a while for this whole thing to be fetched but 
it knows when it should show this console log. So that's when the then appears. Anyway, I don't want this app, so I just hit that little cross up there. And then we are back to, oh, I'm actually out of my projects. But yeah, basically uh, we've got an application here and that runs. Problem is if we run this again and we close it, another interstitial ad is going to show up and I don't really want another ad to show up. Okay, but another ad does show up and you know, that's going to be a bit buggy to our users. Like I don't want to have all these random ads popping up all the time, uh, constantly bugging me about, Hey, why is this popping up? And so I want to give it a little bit of a gap before I show ads. Like, so let's say two minutes. So let's head into our code and see how we're going to accomplish that. So here we are back at our closed chords modal action. And now, as you remember, as we close the chords modal, this whole interstitial ad shown action pops up, but it takes a while for the ad to actually show because it's got to fetch everything. But if there wasn't an error in having to show that, then it will already presume that this has worked. If there is an error, then it would show you that interstitial ad error. And that's just for debugging purposes. You know, we're never really going to use the console. I just keep it here because that way, I, if I'm debugging it later, I can see, hey, there's like, it's working, it's not working, something random is happening I'd expect to happen. That's just there for that. Now the next thing is, how are we going to implement this to show only every two minutes? And this is a little bit tougher than it seems, but also it's not that complicated. What we need to do is set an expiration date, like in the future, so two minutes into the future. But the problem is we don't want that expiration date to exist before we create this interstitial ad manager thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the expiration date, sorry, I need to spell this right. Expiration dates. I mean, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm calling it expiration date because that kind of makes sense. I'm just going to let it exist. And then we're going to have this whole section here is going to go into an if statement. And let me just try on the, the in brackets. I always find it a mission to set this up. I'm going to just put it in there. Right. So let me space that out a bit. And that's what we expect. So what I want to say is if the expiration date doesn't exist. So currently when we first set it up, then I want this to actually run. So by default, it will always run the first time. Then in here, we're going to set an expiration date. So we set our expiration date to equal a new date. And if you just say new date, sorry, it's got to be a space there. If you just say new date, um, it will give you the current like time and date. So we want to actually set the new date to be new date, which is the current time. So date dot get time. This will give you the current time. Uh, and what we want to do is add two minutes to it. So I'm going to split this up. Basically, everything's worked out in milliseconds. So a thousand seconds times 60 will give us a minute times two will give us two minutes. And that is how we calculate that. So now we're setting the expiration date to be two minutes in the future. So what we need to add to this if statement here is when we close the chords model, if it's a, if it doesn't exist, if there is no expiration date, then definitely do this. Set the new expiration date and set the Facebook interstitial ad manager to show. And then also we want to say, or if the new date, meaning the current date is bigger than the expiration date. So if it's after the expiration date that we have set over here, after we show the first ad, we set this expiration date into place. If this comes after that, then we want to repeat the process. We want to set a new expiration date to be another two minutes later to what currently happens. And we want to show the Facebook ad. So that's how that works. Uh, we can test it, but it's, it's going to work the same way. Just what you expect is instead of the ad showing up again, straight away, it will show up. If you close the chords mode, all the ad shows and you open the chords mode and close it again, it won't show. If you open it up in two minutes time and close it again, then it will show. That's how that works. I don't really have to demonstrate that that works. We know our interstitial ad works. And if you know your logic in JavaScript, you'll know this works as well, but you can test it for yourselves. So I'm just not going to test in this video. Anyway, guys, as usual, if you like the video, I'm going to save. I forgot to save. If you like the video, make sure you comment below.
actually leave a like on the video, that way I know you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, what the heck is wrong with you? Just go subscribe, it's right over there. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video, guys. Uh, I say guys a lot there. Anyway, ciao. I said anyway a lot too. Goodbye, world.